What's up everybody, Sniper35 here, bringing you guys another pickups video. It's probably pretty much going to be the last pickups video of 2016. And this video is going to be pretty much the stuff that I, I got for Christmas. And uh, first of all, I just want to say I hope you guys had a great Christmas and ho happy holidays. And I hope you guys got everything you asked for for Christmas, whatever it was. I don't to go ahead and get into this. So first off, I got um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, a 20 year celebration. I mean, this game looks really fun. I've been wanting to um, play it you know, since it got announced and all that stuff. So I finally get to play it on the PS4. It comes with a whole bunch of cool extras and stuff like um, uh, let's see. enhance your gameplay with PSVR. <laughs> Irrelevant! <laughs> But now it has, um, includes VR support for blood ties, new ultimate survivor difficulty mode, new outfits and gun inspired by Tomb Raider 3. This is what I'm really excited about, the five classic Lara skins. It's basically they take the skins, like how Lara looks from like the PS1 uh, Tomb Raiders and you can play as that skin, which is, I'm really excited to do that. I, I can't wait to, I want to play through the game multiple times with like a couple of the different uh, classic skins. Baba Yaga, The Temple of the Witch, um, Endurance Mode, Cold Darkness, Awakened, 12 Outfit Side Weapons, and 35 Expedition Cards. So I'm going to definitely be busy uh, with this game, but I can't wait to get into it. Another game I got for Christmas was um, Dead Rising Remastered. I remember playing this game uh, at my friend's house when around when it first came out, because I think this was a launch title on the 360. It was exclusive 360, and um. I remember playing it at my friend's house way back. It was really fun. This game is it's, it's kind of challenging at points too, but it's a really fun um, uh, game. You know, you're in a mall, you can use pretty much whatever you want as a weapon. You have to solve cases within three days, and this has a bunch of cool, like little neat things with that that I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed Dead Rising. I, I don't get too many remasters of games from like the PS3 and 360 gen, or I just play them on the whatever system on, but Dead Rising, I don't mind, I, I, you know, so I just picked up Dead Rising Remaster, uh, get to play that on PS3, so I don't have to worry about getting, you know, picking it up for the 360, so that's fine with me, and also I got was a Gravity Rush Remaster, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this game, and the Gravity Rush 2 is coming out uh, pretty soon next year, so I uh, figured I'd finally get into it, I finally was able to Ask for it because usually it, was, it would go on sale a couple times, and I would freaking uh, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't have the money to get it at the time. I'd always be short because this game was going would go on sale for like twenty something dollars. So it's nice to finally get get this, and I'm gonna get into this at some point. You know, I said I said I heard it was um, pretty good. Fall into a gravity defying adventure, use incredible powers to protect the future while battling amnesia and trying to uncover the secrets of your past. I know she had amnesia. Manipulate gravity with the DualShock 4 wireless controller. Enjoy extra missions and costumes with all DLC from the PS Vita edition. And enjoy 600 illustrations and more in the new gallery mode. So, yeah, I've been hearing good things about this, so I can't wait to finally uh, get into it. And lastly, uh, I got was a Threads of Fate uh, on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I, I remember I have a funny story about this game. Okay, sorry about that. I kind of like died or whatever. But um, and I have a funny story about uh, how I even came like across this game. Like, um, I believe I played a demo of this game in a store like a really really long time ago. Like it happened so long ago I can't remember what store it was. I was I was like really little. But um, I remember I, I I vaguely very vaguely remember like playing some demo of some game in the store a long time ago. All I could remember was like some kid running around in the forest hitting like some sort of like floating creature or whatever with that circular saw blade thing or whatever that is. That's all I could remember. It was just, I couldn't even remember what the kid looked like. All I remembered was just, I couldn't even remember the name. All I remember was just like, there was a kid in the forest, he was hitting something, he was hitting like in, the creatures with this. That's literally all I remembered about this. So I was like, for the longest time I was trying to remember if I could like find and recall what this game was. I'm like, 
I just couldn't remember because I could, I didn't know the name. I vaguely remember even remember anything about it and what I tried to t the, look for it or whatever. It was so vague there was no possible way I could get a you know f answer or whatever. So I was just like, I, I thought I made the game up. <laughs> I just I was starting to convince myself that you know what maybe the game never actually ex existed. Maybe that was just a figment of my imagination. Maybe, maybe it was just like a, some sort of like strange dream I had or something like that. And this game didn't actually exist and I just made it all up. But uh, one day I came across a video somehow, and it was called, you know, it said Threads of Fate, and I clicked on the video, and um, I was just watching, I was like, you know what, this seems vaguely familiar, and I kept watching more, and I was like, I, th I think this might actually be like that game that I sh was struggling so hard to remember, and did some more uh, research and looked into it some more, I think this is it, this was that game that I could you know, only ever vaguely remember, and I thought I had made up at first, I think Threads of Fate is that game I played a demo of in some store a long long ass time ago <laughs> that um, I looked into it and it looks pretty fun there's two different characters you get to play as um, and apparently the stories are different or something like that it's like Rue is on a quest to revive a lost friend Mint is seeking power and revenge both of them are looking for a powerful relic but which will be brave and clever enough to reach their goal explore beautifully rendered 3d world with the uh, Challenging puzzles, unusual enemies, and unknown dangers. Now, I think that was like the little enemy thing I vaguely remember hitting. I remember some sort of like floating circular orb type thing or whatever. Uh, play as both characters to encounter two entirely different storylines. Rue has the ability to shapeshift into the forms of defeated enemies. Mint can learn and use a wide variety of uh, powerful magic spells. And this thing is in really, really good condition too. Uh, there's like this one kind of little crack at the bottom, but that's whatever, but the majority of the game is in a very good condition. Almost mint condition, as soon as I can get the freaking thing off. <laughs> and that's what the disc looks like. It's pretty cool. I like the disc, and that's the cover art, or the back side of the manual. And that's the art on the inside, and here's the disc. There's about no scratches or whatever, or barely any scratches or whatever. So this is a very nice condition uh, version of the game. Manual's in really nice condition itself too. Registration, or whatever card is on all that. Control list for the characters. That's pretty cool. Wow, I just well, I noticed an error in this book. It says press the X button to pick up items, but it shows square. They messed that up. It says circle for that and show circle and X. <laughs> they messed that's pretty funny. It says press X and they put circle as the thing. I that's pretty funny. But yeah, I'm glad I found out finally about this game. Because I was like, man, maybe I just made this game up. I don't even know. <laughs> I, could, I could remember barely anything whatsoever. But I'm pretty sure this was it. So I have it. So hopefully it's pretty fun. It looks like it might be. I haven't really looked through the manual. Uh, that much yet, but just from what I've glanced over, it looks like it'd be a pretty fun game and that gameplay that I watched in that video, so I can't wait to uh, eventually get into this at some point. But uh, yeah, it's basically all the video games I got for Christmas this year, so next up my last and final pickups video for this year, but um, I hope you, like I said before, I hope you guys got everything you guys wanted for Christmas. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and ho uh, happy holidays and all that. And I also wanted to say thanks for uh, h helping me hit, uh, was it 1,100 subscribers I believe I met? Last I checked that was it. So thank you for helping me hit that. I really do appreciate it. And um, well, hopefully at some point I can get into playing these freaking games. I really, you know, want to get, I want to get into all these, but you know, especially like Gravity Rush and you know, Tomb Raider and, and all that. So, I'm Stomach35 and I'm out. Please don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe. Peace.